There's a road here somewhere, folks. Just, just keep it between the embankment and the... Uh... There we go. Someone was out here sometime last night. This might have been my tracks from last night. But the plow hasn't been here, that's for sure. Oh, wait a minute. Is this evidence of a plow? No, somebody else is out here too. Yeah, this guy went off the road. That's a ditch over there, or at least off the road anyway. All right, I'm gonna get off. Time to start the downhill run. Yeah. Well, time to get the mill, dug out the rest of the way. Got some white oak, poplar, and maple to mill up, as well as some uh, sour cherry over there. So, can't fool around out here today. Got to get some work done. Everybody, welcome back to the Arnold Sawmill. As you can see, we've got our first considerable snow of the season about eight, nine inches of snow about. We did start cleaning up out in the lumber stacks, and the reason I'm walking out here now is I left my other sweatshirt hanging out here. I need it. <laughs> hey. There it is. <laughs> I know we already walked by it once. I left it out of things ice cold. I'm going to take that in and put it near the wood stove. But on the menu for today, white oak, we got to do some posts. Uh, a couple of, couple of eight footers. They're going to actually be nine or nine plus. With the logs we have, they can trim down from where they need or to where they need it. Uh, as far as I, hey, for all I know, the lights could be frozen into the ground right now. The lifting arms uh, haven't pulled the cover off yet. I know I need a new blade on it. There is no blade on it right now. Not worried about the snow and the logs. That'll come off when we roll them. But uh, let's make some sawdust so we can get some traction out here. What do you think? And you have to notice the mill is turned. 90 degrees from where it normally sits I figured if we're going to keep milling back here in this position Because we haven't filled in enough back there yet We better turn this so we can have better access to the mill for bringing logs in and this will have us We can still get lumber out of both sides of the mill. No problem. So All right, let's go warm up my sweatshirt here and uh, let's get started Okay, just about ready to get started got a new blade on well a resharp blade seven degree turbo uh, adjusted that alternator belt finally. I let that go too long. I knew it was the alternator belt. I know it wasn't a drive belt because when I would activate the hydraulics, it would throw more load on the alternator and the belt would squeal. That, that's what let me know it was a, uh, the alternator belt. Simple adjustment. Loosen the bolt here. The bolt on the bottom here. The only trouble was getting to the nut that's on the back side of this. Gotta move this hose needs to move over here because you got to get to the nut right there. Get a wrench on it. Open end wrench. And then these wires got to push over to that side. Can be done. Uh, that hose will move. And it, it's cold out this morning, and I still managed to get this over here. Squeeze it down to fit in there. So, But it's adjusted. Plenty of tension on it now. Where the heck is it? Right in there. There we go. We've got our windshield washer fluid mixed with our pine saw and, and uh, Dawn dish soap. I think what I have to do is just mix this with regular water. It should, be, it should be just fine. But that's about a gallon and a half. I think I overdid it. I think one gallon to five should be good. Depends. I'll uh, I'll look into it a little bit more. And what we're cutting today... Well, Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> what we're cutting today... Um, something off of this list, depending on what we find on each log. Four 8x10 9-footers. One 8x10... Or, I'm sorry, one 10 by 12 three footers. Got a bunch of three footers in there. One 8 by 10 three footer and one 6 by 13 three footer. These are to replace some supports in an older barn, an older farmhouse, and doing some splicing work. I'm not the framer, I'm not the, I'm not the post and beam guy. All I know is what he needs cut, and he'll take care of it from there. But Joe Slobinick, this is your cut list, buddy. We're getting your job done. All right, this log, we've got some checking issues on the end. Uh, we've already flattened one side, and that, that allowed us to uh, level the pith in this one. 
which you want to do with beams. Uh, you want that grain running as straight as possible through the beams. Also, um, it's got some uh, a little bit of a crack damage up on the, the right side. Let me see where are we at here. Yeah, over on this end, yeah, there's a crack in there. So I might end up just getting some of those shorter pieces out. Let's see what we can get. Okay, as before, when we were cutting posts and beams, cutting these slightly oversized, and then we'll bring them back up and trim them down to finish size.
as we've done in past videos when we're milling the larger timbers like this you see we take a little off one side of the cant flip it over take a little off the other side of the cant flip it back over we're just working down to that final dimension and uh, releasing the stress evenly throughout the cant and the last couple of cuts will be very thin taking it to its final dimension and keeping that post nice and straight which is what we want to do Okay, we've worked the cant down to its final 8 inch dimension, flipped it up on end, and now we're going to slowly work from each side of the cant, bringing this down to 10 inch, and finishing off one of our 8x10 posts. As you can tell by the dark staining in the cant, we did find some metal. So what we're going to do is trim the end of this cant off and uh, remove the metal. Won't have to worry about it. We'll go ahead and finish sawing our beam. All right, we've got the other half of the log up on the mill. This will be a 6x13 post. Odd size, but that's what's requested, so we're going to cut it.
Okay, well, as we pause for technical difficulties known as a dead battery, uh, we're almost done with the second log. First one yielded a couple of the uh, three foot pieces we need at what, a uh, six by 13 and uh, eight by 10 three footers. And we just finished one eight by 10, nine footer on this log and we're about to do the second one. Anything that's coming off here is either going out for firewood or we have a gentleman who wants to build a small little fort in the woods for the kids. So told him we'll just save the stuff for him. Off cut boards, or they're, they're not real high quality boards coming off so we're not worried about it and they're just going to use them for siding or whatever on their fort so we told them what to hang on to them heck the fort will never rot it's white oak <laughs> all right now that we got a good battery let's get back to it we're going to cut this one and uh we're going to call it a day for today we got some plans for this afternoon so we'll continue on this one tomorrow and we got this uh nice monster coming up here it's about a 12 footer yeah that'll work Okay, we're going to wrap it up here at the Iron Oak Sawmill, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's going to be kind of choppy with the missing footage, but I uh, you know, wanted to bring you what it's like. And we used our usual method, uh, usual method for uh, making the posts and beams. Just taking a little off the outside at the time, turning them, take a little bit more off turn, take a little bit more off. Also making sure they're square by using the, the framing square on the, uh, the mill bed along the side of the side of the cut and make sure everything's nice and square for the customer but uh 
That one wraps that one up. Here's Deb. Hi. There she is. <laughs> Bringing in the trash can. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, not sure when this video is coming out, but at this time we are 19,000, almost 300 subscribers. We were hoping to get to 20,000 by the end of the year. Not sure if, we're gonna, if we made it, because if this comes out after the end of the year. Not sure if we made it, but I gave it a shot. And uh, again, Iron Oak Seal All Mill t-shirts, links down in the description. Uh, we've made some changes to the channel, some more information, contact information for us. Just check in our about section. And I hope you get a hold of us if you need to. Got an email in there, got a mailing address in there. Uh, it's all there. You need to you need to look us up, all right?